Here's a simple but powerful way to create a dodge and burn effect in DaVinci Resolve. Alright, step one for this tutorial is to first balance your footage. And I'm not going to do that here, and you can use whatever method, whatever workflow you'd like. Just get your footage to a good place with a good contrast, a good saturation, and a good white balance. And this will serve as a good base for this skin glow, this sort of pseudo dodge and burn effect. Alright, next what I'm going to do is just add a very basic grade to it. Um, nothing too fancy, just something simple to contrast with her skin tones and her red dress. And I'm going to bring the gain over to a cyan color. And just make it look a little bit more blue hour. Right around there. Very simple, nothing too fancy. After that, I'm going to create a layer node hitting option L. And this will be our skin key node. Again, for this, you can use whatever... Uh, qualifier technique you'd like. You just want a good, clean uh, key of your subject's skin. I'm just gonna work through mine real quick. It's not important at all. How you go about it, just make sure you get a clean key. After this, we're gonna go in and just, you know, make sure it's a little bit cleaner and we're just focusing on her skin and I'm gonna create a power window around her. I'm not gonna track it for now, I'm just gonna keep it very simple. After this, gonna create a serial node and name it Skin Glow. And this is where we're gonna add our effect. Then I'm gonna add a parallel node and rename it Skin Soft. And I'm gonna show you a cool little trick for getting some nice soft skin. All right, so I'm gonna go into my effects and drag in the glow effect into our Skin Glow node. And you can see if we toggle it on and off, nothing happens. So we're gonna take the shine threshold and push it all the way to the left and the composite type to soft light. So as you can see, the effect is being applied to the entire image and we don't want that. So we're gonna take the matte output from the skin key and drag it over to our skin glow node. And this will bring the key over from the first node. As you can see now, it's just affecting the skin. And obviously the effect is too much, but we're gonna work on that in a second. So our main controls are gonna be the global blend and the spread. So the spread is gonna help us to create that dodge and burn effect. It's gonna help this glow um, effect sort of wrap around the sharper, more contrasty edges. And you wanna play around with it. It's okay if the shine threshold is still a little too high. Um, we want to see how the spread is behaving. And just play around with it. And, and depending on your footage, have it sit at a place where it's, you know, defining the, the natural light that's in your image. You don't want to create a false light or relight the image. You kind of want to go off of what's already happening to your subject. So looking at areas here, like her chest, her clavicle, her shoulder, um, I want to, you know, emphasize these areas with just the natural light that's already on it. And of course, make it look as natural as possible. So I'm just working this here to see I can find a, a, a good balance between contrast and something that doesn't look too too crazy. And we're gonna take our global blend and bring it all the way down. I forgot to mention something else. You wanna bring the saturation all the way down. We don't want the saturation effect to change the color of our skin or affect it in any way. As you can see here, it really boosts the saturation of our skin and we don't want that. So we're going to go into our global blend, bring it all the way down, and now slowly bring it back up and have it sit where we like. Nice and slow. And just sort of playing around with it, seeing what looks good and natural. Now we toggle on and off, you can see that we have this nice little glow that's creating some contrast in our skin. And it's not too much, and it's going off of the natural light that's already on her skin so we're not trying to relight the image we're just trying to accentuate the contrast that's already in her skin sort of creating this pseudo dodge and burn effect that you see in photography so much and depending on your footage just play it keep playing around with the global blend and this will be sort of your main control for this effect and now i want to show you a cool little trick to get some nice soft skin tones and we're going to zoom in here and her skin looks uh, great doesn't need that much work but i'm still going to add just a little bit of softness to it and we want the same key that we've been working with so we're going to drag over the matte output to the 
skin soft input and go into our mid-tone detail and our primary uh, windows. And if you, if I drag it all the way to the left, you can see it's way too much, but you can see what it's doing. It's just creating this very soft uh, look to the skin. And obviously this is too much, so we're gonna go ahead and, and find a, a good sweet spot. I usually find that for 10 bit footage that's well lit, um, somewhere around 20, negative 15 to negative 20 looks good, depending on the lighting and the subject. And we don't want too much because we don't want, we don't want the skin to look uh, porcelain here. But as you can see, it's creating this nice little soft overlay on her skin, very subtle. We wanna build on, on nuance here and on, on very subtle effects. And now that I've added this skin soft, I might even turn down the global blend on the glow node. So let's just real quick go over what we did, right? I'm gonna turn off these nodes. Um, so we created a very basic look just to give it a little bit of style. And here is our key that we created, bringing our skin tone sort of back to life. And here's the skin tones with that dodge and burn effect and with that subtle skin soft effect, which you can see working here, even though it's very, uh, very subtle and that's it very simple effect but pretty powerful in creating some skin tones that will really pop and honestly i don't see a lot of dodge and burn tutorials out for skin tones in uh, video editing or color grading if you have any questions about this effect and need some help sound off in the comments and i'll do my best to help you out thank you for watching